I'm Oliver Trevina in studio with The Hollywood Reporter, joined by the handsome John Huetas. Pretty close. Pretty close, because we were just talking about this. I can't yeah. roll my R's. If you just put two more rolls in there, it would, be, it would sound really sick. Yeah, I can't roll. Huertas. I just, I, I'm stopping myself from leaning over and kissing you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Time's up. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is us. This yeah. is us right now. This is us. The show that everyone's talking about. It's it's just this massive phenomenon. It's going it's, into it's it. A, yeah. It's a great show. I'm not just uh, a, an actor on the show. I'm also right. a fan of the show. I love to to tune in and watch it every week myself because. You know, it, it gives you the feels, right. lets you tap into some things that you might have experienced in your life right. that, uh, you know, that, that sometimes make you cry, right. sometimes make you laugh. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's very relatable. And I think that's the, the key to the success that, you know, there's so, so many shows out there nowadays that don't have that. It's yeah. really, you know. Um, yeah, like uh, 24 Legacy. I just couldn't relate. Right, I, I right. Wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't trying to say, I've never tried to save the world. Yeah, Daredevil. Never seen Daredevil in real life. I do like Daredevil too. No, I love it. I just can't relate. I've never seen him in real life. Oh, you've never seen him. I've never seen him in real life. Have you? You to look for him? No. No, he's not even looking at us. Maybe he is. Um, but going into the show, I did read that you you said it was the best pilot you, that you've ever watched. Is that true? Yes. Um, I think it was the best pilot that I've ever watched. It. Um, and you've watched I, a lot. You've been I have a watched, lot. I've watched yeah, a lot. You've done I, a lot. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I, I, they sent me the pilot to, to check out before right, I started right. filming. And I was just blown away by how, this, the, the, first of all, the major twist at the end right, of the, the right, show was right. just brilliant. You know, I, I, it was just great how they were able to, to show the 70s mm -hmm. and the, uh, or the, or the early 80s, 70s uh, correlating with today. Mm -hmm. It was just seamless, and, and uh, the performances were just amazing. I thought Justin Hartley was amazing, I, you know, right. I, and I'd worked with him before, and um, but I think it's because this character that he plays, I relate to right. so much, um, so I, I, I was really drawn in by that storyline in particular, um, but everybody is just so phenomenal on the show, so it was, you know, the right combination right. Of, of great writing, great acting, uh, great production design, and, and just you know, great filmmaking. Right. And timing for you to... And timing. Have was, a new adventure. Very, I was very lucky to come off of, right. a, of a long-running job to, to land on a show that, that has some legs, I think. Right. We, people like it. I'm hoping that we're going to be be here for a while. People like it is a, is a massive understatement. People love it. People are obsessed with it. There, I, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard no, it's that. true. They're obsessed. Yeah. They're obsessed. yeah. yeah. Actually, the last interview I had in here before you, that was what they referred to as... The show they're obsessed with. So, really? Yeah, yeah. I do know that there are like things that the people have come up with, like the way that they rate a scene. I read on online once someone rated uh, one of my scenes um, how many crying Randalls I earned. Okay. And they actually have like little, little icon things that look like Randall crying, and they go, oh, they earned three crying Randalls for that. Perfect. Scene. Yeah, yeah. So See? that that does kind of prove that there's a bit of an obsession. There's a bit of an obsession when <laughs> yeah. people start doing that. Yeah. Um, but taking it back once more, uh, you originally went in and you were going to be, you are just going to play the role of Miguel's friend. Right? I was going to play Jack's friend. Jack's friend. I was going to play Jack's friend, Mike. Um, Which was a, lot, it was a smaller role, obviously. Well, I thought it was a smaller role. I don't know what if they had the plan. <laughs> I think, I don't, I speculate that they didn't have the plan. Maybe that the plan changed after I got the part, but I'm still not sure. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I thought it. I was just playing, you know, Jack's friend. I was going to be, like, you know, oh, recurring on the show, and then I would go and get one of those fancy cable shows uh, right. that everybody's talking about. Um, but I get a call from the makeup artists, and they said, hey, you know, we need you to come in and do your makeup test. Right. I n I've never done a makeup test for a show before. I was like, oh, okay, sure, I guess they want to know what color my skin is. And right. They can try to match it perfectly. I didn't know. So I went in, and it was they were going to do a life cast. So okay. uh, life cast is they, they mold your entire, from the shoulders up, your entire head. So there's another head, another one of your heads over there. And, and they, uh, I guess they made a, like an old man thing, and I didn't know what they were doing it for. I, what do you, what's this for? Right, right. And they told me, oh, you know, when you're old and you're married to right, Rebecca, right. which is Jack's wife. Right. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So I had no idea until I went to the makeup test what was um, How crazy being asked that? of me to, to portray portray someone who everyone thinks betrayed What a nice surprise. His, uh, friend. Yeah. What a nice surprise. Yeah. Um, and the prosthetics itself, 
that's quite a long procedure. Is it? They got it down to now about two and a half hours. It started out first season six hours at the beginning. Hang on, oh. sorry, six hours mm -hmm. each time. Mm -hmm. Six hours to put it on, and then like it used to be like an hour and fifteen minutes to take it off. So now we've got it down to like two and a half hours to put it on, and then about forty-five minutes to take it off. Right. <laughs> like when you want to go home. It's aggressive, right? right. You're just ripping it off. off. Yeah. Do you ever just think, I'll go home old? Role play a bit? <laughs> Maybe your wife wouldn't enjoy that that much. I think she would, actually. Maybe? We'll try it. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's you know, I, I do want, I just want it, I just want it off. I don't, right. once you've had it on for a while, you just want it off. It's, right. It starts to mess with your skin a little bit. I imagine there's some feel-good factor there, though, because you've, you've spent the day as this older man. And then suddenly you're back to Some young, young John Huertas. With vigor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back again, back in the game. John Huertas. That, well, exactly how you say it. We've established that I can't roll my R's. Let's move on from that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so with that being said, season two is coming to an end. Yeah. Season three, we know there's going to be a season three because of the success, which is nice. They, they the ordered show. a season three yeah, yeah, yeah. last year, and that was, which is great. And it's so awesome to, to know that you've got a job for another year. Um, and that people love the show. The show they love the show enough to mm -hmm. want us to come back. Um, what will you do? How much downtime will you have now between the actual? I think we usually have a, we well we have five months. Right, about five months downtime. So yeah, you asking what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm so is there anything else I'm coming just up? Just gonna take uh, chill, take some time off. I'm doing a play. I haven't okay. worked on stage Amazing. in a while, so I'm gonna do a play uh, here in LA. It's a it's a it's a big play that's at the LATC. It's Amazing. called Members Only, so I'm doing that. We start rehearsals in um, April. Love that. And Love that. Some LA theater. Yeah, some LA theater. Yeah, we yeah. do. So I'm doing that, and I'm uh, finishing. I'm building my house, rebuilding my house. Yeah. So I'm finishing that, and I'm doing. I'm basically doing. I'm doing all the work. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I imagine you would. I imagine oh. you would. There yeah. you go. There you mm -hmm. go. I love it. I love it. Um, you have a restaurant too, right? I do have a restaurant. You do have a restaurant uh, too. Well, yeah, I'm a partner in a restaurant with some some friends. Nice. Uh, and it's in Venice called Clutch. I'm you should come, come down, down there for a snack. Come yeah, down there for do. a snack. Um, I'm going to ask you some quick questions. Okay. So, THR's top five. You ready? Sure. It's not going to be about your socks either. Don't I want to show this. John's socks at some yeah. point because yeah, they're very lovely. Right. Strong sock game. Strong sock gang. We'll have to get that at the end. It's very nice. She's trying to zoom down. You've you got the socks. You've got the socks. Very strong socks, people. It's important that you wear. I rock a little pink in there. socks. Yeah. All right, it's enough now. <laughs> I'll take it too far. Do you own the socks as well? Are they, is that your branded socks? Those are my, no, those aren't my branded okay, socks, but they are nice. I mean, I know you, they're your socks. I, I love socks. Love socks. Love socks. There's something you didn't know about John before this interview, I bet. Um, TV show that you would love to turn into a movie? Oh man, um, what would it be? What would it be? A TV show that I would love to turn into a movie. Mm. Oh man, um, I think Silver Spoons. With everybody being older, Rick Look Schroeder. Yeah. I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I wouldn't have won any money Silver on that competition if I had. Ricky Shorter's not. Ricky Shorter's character is not rich anymore. Right. Jason Bateman is is in there. Turn it all like, around. Yeah, just turn it. Here, look, here comes Carlos Rivera. Look at that. Look at that. Um, movie that you watched as a kid that you wish you were in. Excalibur. That's a good. I could see you in that. Well, no, I don't think anybody else could. There weren't many Puerto Ricans back in England. No, but now, like a new version of it. I think we should be brilliant. Yeah, like a comedy special. <laughs> comedy? I think it'd be quite funny. You and a sword. Sorry. Uh, I would do. I would like to carry a sword and ride a horse. If you, you've not you've not done that yet. That's on the agenda. I've not done that. That's going to happen. On the agenda, yeah. Let's put John. Let's put John on a horse with a sword. That's the goal for 2018. Please, Please let's make it happen. Um, a career moment that comes to mind when I say highlight. This is us. I mean, I've, it's, it's amazing to be on, on this ride. I love that. Yeah. I do love, just going back to what you said earlier, that you actually are passionate about the show and you watch it yourself as well. Because mm -hmm. that's rare. You don't hear a lot of actors actually say that. Yeah. They have some good storytelling. I love that. I love that. Um, describe your journey as an actor so far in one word. Mm, what's the best word? Transitional. Strong. It's a strong one. Yeah. I like that. What's the last show that you binge watched? In this new age that we're in, Vikings. Oh, I've not started it yet, but maybe I will now. Yeah. If John says do it, you should do it. And I, but I did that at the same time as another show, uh, Glow as well. Oh, you watch a lot of TV in between building houses, <gasps> running restaurants, wearing fashionable socks, and appearing on This Is Us. <laughs>
<laughs> Make me sound busy. You are a busy man. That's why I'm going to let you go now. John Huertas. I'm never going to get it right, but that's the best I can do. That's pretty good. Huertas. 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 Yeah, don't put as much phlegm in your throat as you are. Huertas. There we go. Ooh. Whisper the Huertas. beginning. Huertas. Huertas. How many times are we going to say it? Huertas. How many times are you going to say it? Huertas. You're repeating it. I only repeated <laughs> it twice to help you. That's it.